Hey YouTubers, as you've probably seen my i5 9400 Foxtrot unboxing and some of the other stuff I have done like uh, actual, the actual build, I thought it was time to discuss the i5 9400 Foxtrot versus the i5 8400 and an alternative to the both of them that for you gamers out there uh, may be the way to go. Now for me, um, I'm running Autodesk Inventor down here at the bottom. You can see that Autodesk 3ds Max and right now we have HitFilm Pro going on which is a huge resource hog. Um, so there's differences to why you're going to pick all those uh, one of those CPUs. Not only uh, the dollar amount. Alright, so CPU Benchmark Dot com or cpu.userbenchmark.com. This is one of my favorites. I have contributed quite a bit of info to the 9400 Foxtrot and I previously owned the i5 8400. So some of these numbers that are in here are from me. So overall, they say 4% uh, better, which uh, I would have to, uh, for the most part, agree with that. You see your, uh, your clock speeds. 2.4, 2.8 gigahertz versus 2.9, and the turbo 3.85 to 3.9. Um, so on the low end, this is better. On the high end, uh, not as big a difference. Speed ranking: the 8400's 45th, and the 9400 Foxtrot 36. So, um, just so you know, let's go in here just so you can see what kind of competition or other chips this thing is supposedly better than um, here we are rank 37th um, it is better than uh, the Risen 5 uh, the Risen 7 1800X an i7 6800 the i3 8350K uh, i5 8500 which is kind of nice when you look at that price point. That's 220. Uh, you probably get it for about 200. I bet on Amazon app on uh, any rainy day or any given day. And then there is the uh, as we discussed the i5 8400. So you know it all depends on what you are actually trying to improve. Um, so if we're talking gaming. Most of your games care about your single core score and your quad core scores. So this is average and then this is the peak. Um, and you can see here that for the single core mixed, um, there is, uh, well they say 3%, so 122 versus 126. So that is definitely a positive. Um, quad core mixed, 2% difference, so not as big a deal. Um, so in your gaming, uh, it is probably safe to say that you're you're going to see a 2 to 3% improvement. Now, does that um, mean that your frames per second will increase by 2 or 3%? Um, maybe. Um, it's one of those things where it's hard to tell. Um, for the most part, it's not going to if you have a high-end graphics card. Um, if you're using 1070, a 1080 RTX, um, I doubt you'll see really any kind of improvement. This is for really for those people that uh, don't have graphics cards. Uh, they're going to see a little bit more of an improvement. Um, now, your multi-core score. Um, these are actually, uh, these are pretty high, um, not obviously as high as an i7, but, um, this is going to help those folks like myself that are using, uh, the 3D CAD, the animation, the HitFilm Pro, um, and that shows a 2% increase, so not as, uh, big a deal, but right now the price point is even better for the 9400 Foxtrot, uh, about 175 bucks, where this is probably still 193. 
says 185 that's probably eBay no, I never heard of that place and they're not even showing the price there now they don't show any actual uh, gaming numbers or anything else from this All right, so for both of these you're gonna need a 300 series uh, motherboard and uh, I'm using the H310 I've used it for this one and I've used it for this and I will say that uh, you get your BIOS update and you can actually find an affordable motherboard however you'll probably have to have an 8th gen uh, processor well you're definitely gonna have an 8th gen processor to um, do the BIOS and then you can go 9th gen on it so um, the safe thing to do there is check with your motherboard manufacturer and make sure that one of their BIOS updates is um, for 9th gen don't just make the assumption because some of them are, are falling behind we'll say all right, so here's my alternative to gamers out there for either one of these chips, um, which may actually be uh, better for a lot of you. Now, it's ranked lower, but that's mainly because the multi-score is not as good. So here's the i3-8350K. You can see they rank at 41st, so it's a little better than 8400. And these scores, you know, um, kind of hard to judge these because of the fact that most people um, that buy the better cards have the better graphics cards. Or excuse me, buy the better CPUs have the better graphics cards. Now look at this. Look at the single core score. Boom. Okay. Multi-core, the same. Now this is where it crushes it. This is where the 9400 Foxtrot crushes that in the same down here in the, the peaked um, but see how high that is and this is higher so to be honest with you the i3-8350K is probably your way to go for you gamers out there um, wait a month or two and also you could consider the i3-9350KF which same deal here you cannot run the 9400 Foxtrot without a video card so it'll be the same thing with the 9350K, which will be, you know, anywhere from 2 to 4% faster. Um, and that is probably, um, that will be the best value for the money for you gamers. Um, this, this is actually kind of uh, disheartening to see how much better that is for that. But uh, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.